This is Dustin Thickpin, Mr. Two Boss to be stressed. And today we're gonna to talk about how to take out backgrounds from your images so that you can have a nice clean picture of yourself or something else with no background image. So you can put them with like I am right now on my logo creator, um, you know, and actually have them nice clean on a new background. You can use this for images. You can use this for like, almost like you're doing a green screen or something. You can put your picture on any background that you want and it's nice clean cut and uh, nice smooth edges. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in five minutes or less starting now. So um, the software that we're gonna use today is software called GIMP. It's G-I-M-P and you can get it at GIMP.org and uh, it's a free, a free software. Uh, you can also do similar stuff with um, Photoshop but we're gonna go with a free software just so that everybody has access to it. So once, once you get GIMP, go ahead and uh, go to GIMP.org and download GIMP. Um, what you want to do is you want to load it up and this is what it looks like when you load it up. You should have a toolbox over here to your left or somewhere on the screen. If you don't see your toolbox, make sure that you go to tools and just hit um, toolbox right here or, or new toolbox. It might say new, might say new toolbox instead, but uh, sometimes it's hidden. But anyway, you want to make sure that you have your toolbox up and you want to make sure that you go ahead and click the lasso right here. It says free select tool and you want to double click on that and make sure that it is set on add to current selection where it has like a little red square on top of another little red square. So go ahead and make sure that's selected. Select that and then you can just hit the X and leave that there. So now we want to open the image that we want to um, take the background out. So I'm just going to grab a quick image out of one of my folders right here. So we're just going to go ahead and grab this one of me and my pretty little daughter right there. And that's Kira. So I'm just going to take myself out of this picture so I can put it onto another image. So what you want to do first is just go ahead and get it to a good size. Um, and keep in mind when you're using uh, GIMP, you can do this with any pretty much, I think, Windows program. But you can hold down the control button, where you know, the bottom left of your keyboard, and use a wheel mouse, wheel mouse to go in and out, to zoom in and out. So this is important because when you're actually selecting your image to cut out of the picture to you know to get your background out, you wanna make sure that you can zoom in on certain parts to make sure you're getting all the close edges. So what you wanna do is, now that you have your lasso tool selected and ready, it's called the free select tool, you go ahead and start at the bottom. I usually start at the bottom right and just work my way around. So I just click at the bottom and it starts with these little yellow um, circles. And what you wanna do is just drag it up and when you get to a corner, you just click it and it drops a little yellow circle get to another corner, drop it. And you just keep doing that throughout your image. Now, if you find that you get way off or something like over here, like I go way over here, it's like, oh, it's not lined up anymore. Just go back to that little yellow circle and drag it over. Same thing down here. If I was off, I could drag this in a little bit. I can hold down control and zoom in a little bit and make sure that all of my angles are lined up. So you can take as much time as you want to do this part. And the more time that you take, the better um, quality cutout you'll get, you know, because you won't have any mess ups or anything. But it's honestly not too, it doesn't have to be perfect because once, I'm gonna show you a way to actually make all your edges really clean cut after we do this. But just go along your image and just keep on selecting each little corner. So we're just gonna do that all around my image here. Every time I get to a little corner, I just click it to drop a circle. And you just wanna keep doing that all the way around the image. And like I said, you can zoom out if you're too close. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna kinda of go pretty fast around myself here. But once you have your selection made, you'll see all your little, they look like little ants crawling around your picture. You wanna go up here to where it says um, select, 
and you want to go to invert. Now what that's going to do is instead of selecting you now, it's, it's actually selecting your background. So once you invert that, you want to go down here to um, layers or just layer and go to transparency and hit add, add alpha channel. Now if it already is grayed out, that means you already have an alpha channel and you're okay. So I already actually have an alpha channel on this one. So at this point, all you have to do is hit delete. And so you see now where all the checkerboard is, that's all transparent. And it's just me. It looks like I'm, I'm missing an arm here, but it's just because my daughter was right there. But you know, honestly, I could cut off the bottom. I don't really need the bottom part. Now, if you want to make sure your edges are even smoother, and you don't, you know, you could stop here if you want, but your edges, edges will be a little jagged. What you want to do is go to, um, actually go first, go to um, select and go to grow as everything's, you know, you have still this selected. What this is going to do is it's going to grow your selection area a little bit more. So you want to grow it to two or three. I'll just go to three. And you can see where it went in a little bit. So now it's around my ears and stuff too. So you, you might want to go a little bit more. So we'll just shrink it by one pixel. So you, it's basically just going to select a little bit more image around you, a little bit more area around you. And then what you want to do is go to filters. You want to go to blur and, and Gaussian blur. It's like G-A-U-S-S-I-N. And click that and then click OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to make a little blur around your edges to really smooth everything out, make it nice and clean cut. And at this point, you can either save over the original image by going to File and Overwrite this picture right here. Yes, it says Skinny Me when I lost weight. Um, and, or you can just go to Export. Um, if you go to Export, which you probably want to do is so you can save as a new image, go to Export, and then you just want to make sure that you you know select a file type at the bottom. You can leave it as PNG if you want, because mine's PNG. So if you want to actually save the transparency, you have to use, um, I think, PNG or a GIF file. But PNG is like high quality, so you probably want to use that. So you can actually just go up here and type whatever name you want. So I'll just put skinny me, no background. And I'll just leave it .png. So that'll be a different file name. I'll just file that away under the desktop. So I hit export. And it's going to ask me what my options are. And we're just going to leave it as save color values from transparent pixels. We're going to make sure we save the transparency. That's already selected. You shouldn't have to do anything. Just hit export. And now we can go to the picture, which is on my desktop right here. And you can see it's already got um, no background there. So now if I go back to my logo creator and I want to throw it in here, I can go back and hit open and, I'm oh, sorry, file and import. PNG. We're just going to go grab that one I just made. And it's right here. So now it's nice clean cut. It has no background. Um, unfortunately, my daughter has gone because I cut her out. But you can see that it looks nice and clean. The edges are really crisp. I'm sorry, really crisp. They're really um, smooth because I blurred them out. Um, so <laughs> I'm actually yellow because I'm selecting it. Let me get off there. There we go. So you can see the, the edges are nice and clean. Um, I do look like I'm missing my arm because I cut it off. But you can you get the idea though, guys. It's really simple to cut yourself out. And you know, that, that whole process, you know, of actually going through it, if you're just, you know, selecting it, not worry about the edges too much, it literally takes less than five minutes to do. And uh, if you want to take your time to make it a little bit more clean cut, you can. It depends on the complexity of the image. But as you can see, it's really simple to do. And once you have this PNG file, this transparent PNG file, you can pretty much load it into any you know, program you want to add it to any picture. You know, you can make it part of your timeline, your logo, anything really you want. And uh, you can actually, if you want to, you can go to Fiverr and charge people to take out their backgrounds and do it in five minutes and charge them five bucks. So uh, how would you like to get paid, you know, a dollar a minute? <laughs> but uh, there's lots of possibilities here, guys. I mainly want to show you so you can use it for your own business and so you can use it to make your own, you know, graphics and stuff. So that's really all I got. I just wanted to show you that little, you know, little tidbit and I uh, hope it helps you guys.